Right guys, let's proceed. So what's happening today is we got our hands on some fire protective paint. This is our electrical mount. This is where a lot of wires are gonna be, where our chargers and batteries are gonna be stored. But it's made of ply. So in the event that um, our, our fuses fail, or there's a spark uh, hot enough to actually set this alight, um, uh, we would like to have some reaction time. In this video, we're going to do a few fire tests. Now, despite you know many manufacturers and other people showing us potentially how these these paints work, we actually want to see it for ourselves. One, I've never seen paint act like that. Uh, two, really like burning stuff. <laughs> and actually, number three is this paint comes in two parts. Part one is a base coat, and part two is a top coat. Yeah. All the companies that we rang obviously said that you need the base coat and the top coat. However, we were curious. What happens if you just had one? So obviously we bought both, we're gonna install the system properly as per the manufacturer, and we're gonna test it as the manufacturer has, has said to apply it. But out of curiosity, we're gonna also test if we apply only the top coat or the base coat and then burn those and see how they react because it's just good to know. So we have latex paint. This is the proper uh, instrument whatever fire system. So uh, there's base coat and top coat. This is just uh, top coat, this is just base coat, and this is our control of um, plain plywood. So we're going to be using a butane torch with these uh, non-refillable cans, and we've also got a fire extinguisher for a safety precaution just in case. Seven minutes. Seven minutes, and uh, well, um, the, the the plywood is sufficiently burnt. So if I flip this around, there we go. The plain plywood has burnt a whole straight through. Let's flip it back round. Okay, that is definitely a lot of fire damage. Only in seven minutes. Looking at this. I would say that uh, normal house paint has about a minute delay because of the reaction that happens. Uh, so it's a little bit slower, but not that much. As soon as it pierces through the, the layer of paint and starts making a hole, it starts burning layers that are just the same as on the completely untreated ply. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as the other one. That one actually has more fire damage. Mm. <laughs> nice. We have successfully proven that plywood burns fast. So that is what happens in an untreated or normally treated house. So now we come to the interesting part, which is the fire paint, fire protection paint. So we're going to start with uh, our controls on, for this one as well. So here we have one painted with the top coat and one painted with the base coat only okay and that is not how you're supposed to use these um the, 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 these paints are supposed to be a system but i still want to know what happens when you just apply the base coat or the top coat and then we're going to do the proper system the one we're actually going to apply to our box which is the base coat and the top coat applied as it should be just before we set fire to these it's probably good to mention when you shop around for uh, fire retardant materials whether that be paint or boards boards that are fire retardant or have a, some sort of rating you usually see uh, class one or class o sometimes it's class zero class one means that it has been tested for the surface spread class o means that um, the uh, means that the board or the paint has been tested for how quickly it penetrates as well as how fast it spreads. The European Union have uh, more united you know, EU standards, uh, but uh, I even with that, sometimes each country has its own uh, regulations that, that it likes to meet sort of personally. Uh, the US, Canada, usually fire retardant products from the US or Canada or anywhere else 
would be unlikely to be able to be imported to the UK uh, because of the slightly different fire standards that it has. Let's burn. Research. So if we were to just apply the base coat, the single coat of the base coat, let's see how that burns. And go. So this is base coat. Base coat. You can see the bubbling. Look, look, look. Ha! So this is the immanescent into... Intumescent? Intumescent coating. So this is what it does, it bubbles up and this provides an insulation layer to protect the wood underneath from actually burning. This performs like a, a really solid outer char layer. You know when you cook a jacket potato for way too long, the outer skin turns burnt but the inner mashed potato, the inner potato is still nice and soft and fluffy? And that's that, how you know he's hungry. That is so cool. Looks like a volcano. Yeah. Or an inverse crater. So that's just the base coat. This is just the base coat. So this is not how this product's meant to be used. It's meant to be used with a system. Yet the base coat alone is not allowing it to burn. I see a few holes in the very peak. Do you see? Yeah, I see them. If I take it away, is it on fire? No. But it is smoking. I think it might be on fire inside. I think the wood is on fire inside, yeah. Something is definitely smoking at the top there. It's yeah. like a chimney. I think a layer is is caught on fire inside, see? Yeah. Because it's ply, so it has many layers. It probably has a crack. How is the heat on the back? Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. We're approaching seven and a half minutes, so this is where we stopped the previous two tests. Yeah, we're still looking a lot better, so I think it's seven minutes it's when it starts penetrating in normally into the pliers it did before. Yeah. Because now it's cracking inside. Yeah. I think I see a hole. There's a hole. Eleven and a half minutes in, yeah. I see a hole. It's gone through now. Yeah. That's through. The hole is not growing that big. No. There's still a hole. I think it is helping with the, uh, stopping the surface spread on the on the front. The back might be a different story. All right, and concluding. Okay, oh. so this is just the base coat. It definitely had the properties where it puffed up and protected it, at least for what? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes be before it penetrated properly to the wood. What has it done to the back? Well, it looks the same to me as the other ones. Well, if we just grab up. Oh, that some of that fell out. The latex paint. So the hole is much smaller. And it isn't as far spread. Yeah, it, it's definitely less. Yeah. I think just base coat will give you maybe five to ten minutes more reaction time. I mean, yeah. might be exaggeration there, but yeah. again, the flame is not going to be that strong, most likely. No, top only. So this is the top layer of paint for the fire protection system. Only. So the bottom one bubbled. I wonder if the top one's going to bubble as well or not. Do they both have that property? So it goes yellow again. Straight away. Uh, what are we doing? It's doing... Uh, no. I was about to say it's doing something. That to me looks very very similar to the standard house paint to the standard house latex paint yeah yeah look it's going the same color hmm. interesting yeah it's cracking the same way it's creating the toxic flower the toxic flower is that what we call it yeah? yes okay. uh, it is different yeah. i believe there's less surface spread as far as i can see mm. Yeah, so that is seven minutes. Seven minutes. An extra minute. I feel like there's a lot less surface spread. Yeah, but the paint still, it, it resisted a tiny bit longer than regular okay. house paint, but it still did the same thing. It pierced through, but it's not spreading. That might, yeah. it might be a class old system, but that could be a class one yeah. paint. 
So yeah, that, that's been 10 minutes, which is longer than what we left the regular ply and the regular house paint coated ply. But as soon as it broke through, it's just creating a hole. The surface spread is less than the other ones and the little sections that it was burning, you know, what would you call it? The chips, the, mm -hmm. the cracks were less, but it still burnt a hole through. Okay, so I would say that the uh, fiber titan paint, the top coat alone, um, spread a lot slower. So it could be like a class class one paint, um, whilst this one in less time spread more and build a massive hole. This is a big hole still, but the surface spread is a lot less. Yeah, so it hasn't got any penetration protection in just the top coat alone. Yeah. All right, if I flip it round. Ooh. But the back. I mean, the back in comparison to the latex paint is... About the same, I would say. Top and base coat for the fire paint. Mm -hmm. This is how it's meant to be applied. Base coat first, left it to dry. Top coat on, left that to dry. This should resist the fire. Going now. Oh, bubbles. Right, so we've got bubbles. So it's bubbling and it's puffing out. Okay. It's puffing out slower. Yeah. It's making mini volcano. So neither of the previous paints did that bubbling? No. But they're, they're supposed to react together. Yeah. The heat, so. Looks like a very weird sponge. Yeah. Or one of those undersea creatures. Right, so we're approaching the four minute mark and there's still no cracks. And there's no smoke as well. How is the back? Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. I mean, it's not like blistering my finger, but I can't keep my hand there. So there's no charring on the back at all? Nope, no charring. So we're approaching the stage now where the base coat alone started burning the actual wood underneath. Yes. Thing is, it hasn't inflated nearly as much, which means it's not to the, to the, to the end of its um, sort of capacity. All good. And we are 15 minutes. That's 15. 15? Yep. So I will stop the experiment. You can see cracks in the um, protection coating. Turned around. So if I turn this around, there is just, starting. just about a little bit of charring. Yep. Interesting. So we might need two layers. I'll probably maybe do two layers just to two layers uh, of each, two layers of base and two layers of top. So what I want to do is I just want to scrape away half of it so we see the difference. Yeah. Looks pretty black under there to me. Okay, the surface spread is definitely a lot less and the penetration is a lot slower. Overall, I would say money well spent. It will certainly slow down the damage. It's been really interesting to see the difference between uh, top coat and base coat when used individually. Um, because, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they designed them as a dual system, you know, for a reason and stuff like that. You just, you, you, they just don't explain why exactly, you know. So the, the base coat uh, obviously deals with uh, the depth penetration and the top coat deals with the surface spread. Um, obviously, and then together they react to enhance both uh, features. As, as far as I can see, that, that, that's my conclusion from, from what I'm seeing here. We're gonna be painting the box now, but first we need to uh, prep it. And if you remember last week, we discovered a slight design flaw, which um, numb to me, I, I forgot that technically I knew about it, but then whatever. In a digital design, I drew this in the center 
but it's actually on the side. So if it's in the center, then that fits perfectly, goes in. As it is, it's like two centimeters off. So for that to nicely go in, then the foot of the DC to DC charger is actually off the mount. So what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna mount this here again, we're just gonna extend this hole. retardant paint so it protects any sort of sparks that might happen with the connections of the wires. All our charging devices and such will be mounted to the outside. The wires will go through the holes, through the insulation jacket and to the batteries covered by a lid and hopefully that will keep it neat. All right, so subscribe for next time. Hopefully we'll be wiring, you know, for reals, uh, unless something else comes up that we figure out what we should do before wiring. But hopefully we're, we're ready. Hopefully. Please. Okay. Please. Please. <laughs> Can we wire now? Van conversions are really exhausting things for one to do. For two to do. Do. Do, do, do. Okay, can we go now? You can probably turn the camera off now.